Welcome to the First Presbyterian Church of Seneca Falls, New York. I'm Reverend Leah Entwala. We invite you into this space as we center and prepare ourselves with worship and hear this prelude. Let us say together our mission. Be welcoming, be compassionate, be you bravely, be community. Let us say together now our call to worship. 
You are God's temple. God's spirit dwells in you. Let us be holy, for holy is the Lord. You belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Let us be holy, for holy is the Lord. Let us say now our prayer of confession. God of glory, we confess that we have not sought your face. We love to hate our enemies and fail to love our neighbors. We love to quote commandments and fail to love our God. Forgive us. Give us grace. Teach us the way of your word and transform our living to show the wonder of your love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, hear these words of assurance. Our God is a God of love and mystery who allows us to always to begin again. By God's grace, we are forgiven to walk in newness of life. Thanks be to God. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you and also with you. Friends, it is now time to bring our gifts unto the Lord our God. To thank God for all that we have been given, let us do so in song. I just want to take a moment with our young disciples today. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, All have sinned and come short of God's glory. So today I just want to talk to you a little bit about sin. Just a reminder that none of us are perfect people. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Your parents aren't perfect. Your teachers aren't perfect. Your friends aren't perfect. We all have imperfections. And sometimes people, we talk, when we talk about those things in the church, we talk about it in terms of sins. Now, we don't mean flaws, we mean sins, those things that turn us away from God. And sometimes you might hear somebody say, well, that's just, that's just a little white lie. That's just a little, that's just a little sin. And that over there is a big sin. But the truth is the Bible doesn't say big sin, little sin, sin is sin. When we turn from God, we turn from God. But I just want you to know and know this. In relationship with God, just like in all our relationships, we will not always do our best, give our best, or receive our best. And God knows this. And God wants to have a relationship with us. And God invites us into relationship. And that means that when we mess up, when we stumble, when we fall, when we turn ourselves from God, this time of Lent is a whole season lifted up by the church to remember that we are people who sometimes turn from God. But the truth, is the mat truth of the matter is we can always turn back. God invites us to turn back. And when we do, God is there not to condemn us, not to say, I told you so, but to say, I love you. Let us pray to the God who loves us no matter what. God, thank you for being faithful to forgive us our sins and for sending Jesus to remind us that we are loved. In your name we pray. Amen. Prayer of Illumination. Almighty God, you make the sun rise on the evil and on the good. Send rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. Give us grace to follow your example and show kindness towards friend and enemy, that we may live as your children who testify to your all-inclusive love. Amen. First Testament, Psalm 38. A Psalm of David for the memorial offering. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have sunk into me, and your hand has come down on me. 
There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head. They weigh like a burden too heavy for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All day long I go around moaning. For my loins are filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am utterly spent and crushed. I groan because of the tumult in my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you. My sign is not hidden from you. My heart throbs. My strength fails me. As for the light in my eyes, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my affliction, and my neighbors stand far off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek to hurt me speak of ruin and meditate treacherously all day long. But I am like the deaf, I do not hear, like the mute who cannot speak. Truly, I am like one who does not hear and in whose mouth is no retort. But it is for you, O Lord, that I wait. It is you, O Lord my God, who will answer. For I pray, only do not let them rejoice over me.